Hey everyone, welcome to Studio SNC. Let's get started seated today. So make your way to the top of the mat and bend those knees up towards the ceiling, feet flat on the floor, hands to the back of the leg and gently pull to open through the chest. So finding your tall spine, your shoulders are stacked over your hips, pull those elbows in, chest is open and engage the tummy muscles. So zip up and in as if you're putting on a really tight pair of jeans, pulling up from the pubic bone to the belly button. So adding that breath now as we inhale through the nose, drop down off the sit bones, rounding through the spine, the arms start to lengthen. And as you exhale out, come up high on those sit bones again. Chest is open. Breathing in, we drop down off the sit bones. So notice what's going on, your hips and your rib cage are coming closer together in the front. And then you're lengthening through that lumbar spine or lower back on the back. Breathing in, we drop down off the sit bones, rounding through that lower back. Exhale out, come up nice and high. Last time like this, breathing in, dropping down off the sit bones, and then exhaling, coming up. So adding to it now. Inhale, drop down off the sit bones, reach back with the right arm, maybe touch the floor with the little finger, and then exhale. Don't come up though, so inhale, left arm reaches back. Exhale out through the mouth, back to that start. So you've got that posterior pelvic tilt. You're off your sit bones, so your tummy muscles are working by staying in this position. See if you can loosen the grip or maybe even let go altogether with the hand at the back of the leg so that you're twisting, warming up those oblique muscles. The lower part of your body is not moving. It's stable and silent. Reaching back and then arms out in front. Of course, if you need the help of the hand, just place one back to the back of the leg or you can come up a little higher if you feel it's a bit much off the sit bones. One last time, breathe in, breathe out and then inhale, left arm and exhale. Come back up into that tall seated position now. Reach the right arm up, spread those fingers, place the right hand behind the hips and then the left arm, reach it up, circle all the way around. We're gonna just squeeze the shoulder blades together, not lifting the bum quite yet, coming up high on the sit bones, squeezing the shoulder blades, chest is open, and then release. Now slide the feet in closer to your hips, keep that hip width gap between the knees and the feet, and then we lift those hips up, squeezing a little bit more. See if you can lift the heels up, look up towards the ceiling, don't let the head drop back. Squeezing through the glutes here, hold for another three, two, and one, we lower the hips down with control and extend the legs out for the roll up. So feet in Pilates V. If that doesn't suit your body though, you can have the knees directly up towards the ceiling. High, tall spine. Inhale, reach towards your feet, palms facing up. Exhale, let's roll down halfway to start with. So this is your easier version. Breathe in, hold, and then breathe out. Make your way back up. Inhale, reach forward, the full version now, but you can stick with that half version if you need to. Roll all the way to the mat. Inhale, arms come up and over, chest is open. And then exhale, use that breath to bring you all the way up into a seated position or half of the way up if you're doing the half version. Squeeze the heels together. Exhale, lay the spine down on the mat. Breathing in, finding length, arms up and over. Keep the core engaged here, trying not to let the rib cage flare out as we bring it all the way up into a seated position. Breathe in, reach forward, exhale, roll down onto the mat, lay the spine down. Inhale, arms up and over, find length, breathe out. Use that breath as a force to help you come all the way up into a seated position. Inhale, reach. Exhale, we roll down onto the mat, scooping through the core. Breathe in, arms up and over, press the back of the rib cage into the floor. Exhale, follow the arms with the rest of the upper body. We're gonna do two more. Inhale, reach forward. You can stick with that half version, or if you need to, you can switch to the half version if you're getting tired or you're struggling to come up. Breathe in, reach for the last time. Exhale, we roll down onto the mat. Inhale, arms up and over. And then exhale, use the breath to bring you all the way up into a seated position. Move forward in the mat, so you're just walking forward on your hips. Bend your right knee in, left hand comes to the inside of the right knee, right hand towards the ankle, lower down for one leg stretch. So upper body is lifted, you have the option to lower the head if you need to. Breathe in, we're gonna hug twice, a little different. One, two, and switch. One, two, and switch. So that outside hand always goes lower towards the ankle, and switch, send the opposite foot out, adding that little pulse 
So adding that little bit of pulse for extra tension in the core. You have the option to lower the head. You've also got the option to peel the shoulder blades up. Come up higher. Pulling one knee in, one, two, pulls, and then stretching out. Keep the upper body strong and steady so you're not bobbing from side to side with the knees. Using your biceps, pulsing, one, two, and switch. One, two, and switch. Upper body is strong. Last time with the right leg. Last time with the left leg. And relax. Cross the ankles. Lift the calves up. Gentle rock from side to side. Allow the head to join in too. And then slip hands in underneath the bum. So the thumbs are kind of uh, framing your sacrum or the base of the spine. Tuck the chin in here. Inhale, lift that lower back up, coming up into a reverse curl. Lower it down, cross, crisscross the ankles. So lift, lower down, and crisscross. So breathing whatever way feels more natural for you. I tend to say breathe in as we lift, but if it confuses you, just do what feels okay. Focus on getting the lower back up and not stretching the legs out. So not kicking out through the lower legs as you lift the lower back up. It's tempting to kick the legs out because it makes you feel like you're going higher, but you're actually not. Draw the knees in, feel those lower back muscles stretching or back, the lower back is stretching and then feeling those down or uh, lower tummy muscles working hard. Last two just like this, so really warming up through that lower tummy area. Last one and crisscross. From here feet come to the floor. So arms down by your side, simple shoulder bridge, we're going to break it down, we're going to breathe in, press the lower back down, tuck the chin. Exhale, push into the feet and peel all the way up into a nice strong shoulder bridge. Press down with the arms, squeeze for the glutes, holding here for three, for two, and for one. Then on your next exhale, release the spine down slowly and controlled. Vertebrae by vertebrae, coming down, relaxing the hips into their natural shape. Do this again one more time. So warming up the back for the full version of shoulder bridge. We're pressing the lower back down. We're pushing and peeling the spine up. If this doesn't feel nice in the spine, don't come up too high. You can move the feet further away. So we're holding here, squeezing through the glutes, not forgetting to breathe. And then on the next exhale, release the spine down slowly and controlled, relaxing the hips at the very bottom. From here, we're gonna stay up. So breathe in, press the lower back down. Breathe out, push with the feet and peel up. Come up as high as you can, obviously without discomfort. Lift the head up, tuck the chin. Come up onto the toes and then see if you can slip your thumbs in to the base of the spine so that you can rest the upper arms on the mat. <clears throat> you got that full extension of the spine. You can go a little further, walk the toes in closer. Now, you may be halfway down, doesn't matter. You can cup the bum cheeks with the hands if that feels better. The aim here is to stabilize for the hips, those hip bones staying in line. So breathing in, we're gonna straighten the right leg up towards the ceiling. Lower a straight right leg down in line with the left thigh, lift it up again, and then bend back to the start. So inhale, left leg up. Exhale in line with that right thigh. Inhale, straight up. And then we bend and lower down. So right leg straight up. Keep it straight as we lower in line with the left thigh. Keep the chin tucked, right back up, and then toes to the floor. Adjust if you need to, left leg up, pointed toes. Lower in line with the right thigh. Lift it up and bend. Let's do one more set. You have the option to take a break or come out of it at any point. So in line with the left thigh, straight back up. Bend and position the right foot with a hip width gap. Last time, straight up in line with the right thigh. Lift it up, bend. Now, come out of it really slowly. Release the arms if they're underneath. Rest the arms down and then guide the spine down, vertebrae by vertebrae. All the way to the mat. So feet find the floor, cross the right leg over the left. Just allow the legs fall the way they are to the left and turn your head to the right. Feel that stretch in the right side of the waist. Take a deep breath in here. And then we return back to the start, uncross and cross the other way. 
two legs falling to the right the way they are turn your head to the left take a deep breath in and then breathe out return to the beginning feet flat on the floor a little easier now a bit of coordination arms down by your side tuck the chin notice where the back of the rib cage are press them into the floor as well feeling that whole midsection tighten and engage so inhale right arm left leg so left leg in tabletop right arm over your head and then lower it back down right leg left arm we lift up and then we lower it down so a couple more sets like this so it's like a reverse or a backwards way of doing swimming but keep the right angle in the knee you're not bending the knee into the chest that knee comes up in line with the hip bone and your calf stays active so lifting up and lowering down let's do one more set so right arm left leg and then release and then left arm right leg and release so a little more challenging you can stick with that version if you want to knees bend in line with your hips you can bring them in closer if you feel that lower back is lifting up so it's a nice way of supporting the lower tummy muscles and the lower back tuck the chin in breathing in we're going to lead with our right arm the left leg we extend it towards a skirting board higher if you want to make it easier and then left arm right leg extend you'll feel those lower tummy muscles really kick in keep the leg that's in tabletop active the calf doesn't drop down or get lazy so we stretch and then we bring it back stretch and bring it back so it's very normal for that lower back to start getting tired and lift up off the floor draw the belly button in brace the tummy muscles you've got your easier options if you need them you can bend the knee in closer to the upper body just try and keep that right angle or wide angle in the leg and bring it back so we're lengthening keeping the spine long from the crown of your head to the tailbone and release left arm right leg and bring it back one more set right arm left leg back to the start and then left arm right leg back to the start don't even think about it hug the knees in gently rock from side to side lift through the head and the chest into double leg stretch so breathe and hug in we're going to go towards a high light switch or halfway down arms are out from the body breathe in breathe out stretch and lengthen breathe in hug in breathe out stretch and lengthen last two just like this then we're going to change it up one more time stretch and lengthen hands to the back of the legs lower the head to the floor gently rock from side to side take a little break allowing your breath to return to normal if you're feeling slightly out of breath and then we lift up again hands to the shins hug in tight right leg high left leg low so scissors breathe in hug in and left leg high right leg low so you're switching you can have a shorter gap between the scissors if you want you can lower the head to the floor if you need to if your neck is tired but make sure you're straightening those legs out bracing the tummy muscles getting a part or a reverse curl in as we hug in and then stretch it out breathe in hug and breathe out stretch inhale hug in right leg high left leg low arms hovering breathe in hug and we stretch last set right leg up left leg low and then left leg low right leg high or right leg low left leg low i'm not sure okay so we're going to rock from side to side lower the feet to the floor and then reach the arms overhead bend the elbows maybe entwine the fingers but resting the back of the arms on the floor creating like a diamond like shape with the upper the arms the elbows the fingers are together take a deep breath into the belly breathe out release do this again one more time deep breath in and breathe out release two legs up towards the ceiling keep the arms the way they are but if you need that support of the arms down by your side you can I always keep a soft bend in my knees you can straighten them out if it feels okay for you so inhale we're going to peel the lower back up and exhale release now the aim here is to keep those arms on the floor or as close to them as possible you're not letting them lift lift up lower down 
The legs stay in the same shape and you mightn't even be able to peel any part of your lower back up. The feeling of doing it is enough, but the movement's quite fast. So we're lifting and lowering, not forgetting to breathe and trying to keep the upper body stable, the face soft, the shoulder blades glued to the floor and then try and press down with the back of the elbows. So notice if those arms are lifting, mine want to lift up, you have to fight for them, to fight to keep them on the floor. Peel and release. Last three here, really working those lower tummy muscles. Two and one more time. Okay, keep the legs up. Arms a little wider than hip width apart or shoulder width apart. So arms a little wide from the body, bend the knees, draw the knees in closer to the upper body, but keep that wide angle in the legs. From here, we're gonna lower the knees to the right, go as far as you feel comfortable, but don't let the left arm lift, look to your left. Exhale back through the center, keep that wide angle, knees going to the left and look to the right. Come back through the center, okay, a little bit more challenging. Knees in line with the hips now, not as close to the upper body. Moving slowly through this one. Feel those obliques, getting the weight of the legs back through the center on that breath out. We lower down, we twist, and then we bring it back through the center. So we're twisting one way, looking the opposite, and then moving back through the middle, and then knees going to the right, looking to the left, and then back through the center again. Inhale, we twist. Go a little further if you want. See if you can maybe tap your hand with your knee or the knees to the floor and bring it back and then twisting again the opposite way. Let's do two more sets. It's a nice massage for the lower back through the center as well, through the middle and then you're using your neck. Back through the middle one last time. Two knees going to the right, looking to the left. Back through the middle and then two knees to the left looking to the right and back through the center. Extend the two legs out straight now. Arms over your head, entwine the fingers, flip the palms, feel the length of the body, take a deep breath in and breathe out, let it go. One more deep breath in here and exhale, release. Okay, some rolling, bend the knees into the chest, hands to the backs of the legs. Big toes together, knees come as wide as your shoulders. We're gonna stretch them out, breathe in, breathe out, bend the knees and allow the legs help you back into a seated position. Pull your knees towards your shoulders, tuck the chin in. Inhale, we roll it back, we stretch the legs. Exhale, we bend the knees and bring it up. Breathe in, roll back, stretch and exhale, bend and bring it up. Breathe in, roll back and stretch and exhale, bend back into your seated position. Same bend in the arms throughout the exercise. So have a glance at one if you're not sure. Notice if your arms are straightening or bending more, using the tension between the hands and the hamstrings to help you stay in that same position. Kicking out as you roll it back and then bending the knees as you bring it up. Last two, inhale, roll. Exhale, and one more time, breathe in, roll back, and exhale, bring it up. So straight into crab from here. We're gonna cross the ankles, hands to either the knees, or if you wanna go full version, take hold of the opposite foot with the opposite, so right hand, left foot, left hand, right, or left hand, right foot. <laughs> take hold of the outer edges of the feet. That's what I'm trying to say. Okay, pull the knees in towards your upper body. You'll feel the weight of the uh, legs in your arms, so your biceps working. Inhale, roll back. See if you can come up first, and then if you can't, take hold of the knees. So we're gonna roll back, crisscross, catch, and bring it up. So it's a fast movement, and it's normal if you get all tangled up. The crisscross is from the ankles, not the arms. The hands are there to catch your opposite foot. Breathe in, roll, crisscross, and then bring it all the way up. Breathe in, roll back, crisscross, exhale, bring it all the way up. Let's do two more. See if you can pull those heels closer to your thighs. Breathe in, roll, crisscross, and bring it up. Let's do one more. So breathe in, roll, crisscross, and bring it all the way up. From here, keep the ankles crossed. Just move back on your mat. 
take hold of your feet. See if you can roll all the way over onto the knees. Bring the head to the floor. Take hold of the feet if you've lost them and lift the hips high. So don't let your feet lift up off the floor. The toes are touching the mat. Deep, deep stretch here in the lower back. If you're not with me, don't worry. You're going to come out of it soon. Last breath and then release. Hands in underneath the shoulders. Lift the head up. Uncross the ankles. <coughs> Move back into an all fours position. So hands in line with your shoulders. Knees in line with your hips. Simple cat cow to begin. Breathe in, lift through the head and the chest. The belly dips, the bum rises. And then exhale around like an angry cat, push the floor away. Breathing in, extension of the spine, squeeze the shoulder blades together. And then exhale, rounding through that spine, tuck the chin in. So one last time, inhale, lifting the head and then tucking the chin. Reach the hips back, bum to heels. <clears throat> if you can, move the knees wider big toes together and then rest one forearm in front of the other and rest the head down on those forearms. Staying here for a couple of moments, just allowing the body to slow, breathe into the belly. Let's take one more deep breath in here and then we lift through the upper body. Okay, hands come out in front. We're gonna lower all the way down to the belly. So make your way down onto your chest and your forearms are either edges of the mat. So elbows are bent, tuck the chin in. We're going to start off strong, so we're going to lift up everything. If this doesn't suit your body, then use the fingers on the floor or maybe don't lift as high or leave the legs out of it. So breathing in, we're lifting everything up. We're going to extend the arms out, bring them in and then lower down. So we float up, inhale. Stretch the arms out in front, palms in towards each other, squeeze the elbows in and then release back down. So don't worry too much about the breath here as long as you're breathing. Squeeze in, feel those side and upper back muscles and then lower back down. So float up, extend, squeeze in and then lower. Lift up, float up. Extend the arms out, biceps by ears. Squeeze the elbows in towards the ribs and then release, relaxing as you come down. So again, you have the option to keep the fingertips to the floor. You can leave parts of it out. So reaching the arms overhead can be a loss if you've got any weak or lower back issues. So lift, reach, pull in and lower down. Last two, lift up, reach forward, pull in, and lower. Last one, we lift up, we extend, we squeeze, and we lower. Hands in underneath the shoulders, tuck the toes under. So half plank, then full plank. Deep breath in, exhale, push yourself up into your half plank. Tuck the tail before you go anywhere. Spin the inner elbows forward, push into the hands so your shoulder blades part, and use your hands, every part of them. Lift those knees up, it shouldn't feel too different. Deep breath in here, exhale it out. We're going to swivel on the feet into a side plank. So shift the body weight to your left foot. Come onto the outer edge of the left foot. Seal the right foot out in front and reach up. Find length. Squeeze the legs together. And then right hand finds the floor. Swivel on the feet. Outer edge of the right foot. Seal the left foot. Reach up. Look up. So exhale. Excuse me. Back through the center. Inhale. Squeeze those inner thighs or upper thighs together. Right hand to the floor. You're swiveling on the feet. So your feet are working here as well. Reach up. It's a nice distraction. Look up. Hand finds the floor. Fingers spread ready to take the weight. Reach up. You have the option to drop to the knees if you want. Swivel on the feet. Reach up with the left arm. We're going to do one more set. So left hand, swivel on the feet. Right arm lifts. And then right hand finds the floor. Swivel on the feet and reach it up. Back into your full plank. Lower the knees for half, reach the hips back, press the armpits down. Inhale here, exhale, transition into your half plank. So setting up, inner elbows spin forward, upper back is strong, shoulder blades apart, tail tucked. Inhale, reach the hips back again. Press the armpits down and exhale, that posterior pelvic tilt, drawing your pubic bone up towards your belly button. Face is soft. Breathe in, reach those hips back. Exhale, tuck through the tail, lower it down, halfway. 
And one last time, breathing in, reach the hips back. And exhale, half plank. From here, we're gonna bend the elbows, hug them into the ribs, lower all the way down. Point through the toes, breathe in, we lift up into a baby cobra. So your elbows, pull them down towards the hips, lift through the chest, and then we lower down, elbows kind of come up like grasshopper wings. Shoulders down, breathe in, we peel up. And then exhale, we lower it back down. So extension of the spine, if this is too much, Move those forearms out wider. Lift, press the hips into the floor, drop the elbows. And then lower it down slowly with control. Last two here, breathe in, we peel up. And then exhale, we lower down. One more time, breathe in, we peel. And exhale, we lower down. Stack the hands, rest the forehead on stacked hands. Bend the knees and wag your tail from side to side, massaging the thighs on the mat. So from here, reach back with the left hand, take hold of the left foot. Extend the right leg and pull your left heel to your bum. Press the thigh into the floor. Staying here for a moment without changing anything, upper body relaxed, except for the pull with the left arm. One more breath if you want to go further into the stretch. Lift the head, reach back with the right hand, take hold of your left foot along with that left hand and then lift through the chest, bend the elbows out to either side and then float that right leg slightly off the floor. Feel the stretch a little bit more. And then we release down. Left forearm comes out in front, rest the head and then reach down, take hold of the right foot. Right heel comes to the bum, press the thigh into the floor, feel the stretch deepen. So staying here for another moment, relaxing into it. And then if you want, it's only an option, reach back with the left hand, joining the right hand, lift through the chest, elbows flare and float the left leg up. Feel that stretch deepen on the right side. One more breath here. And then let go. Hands to the lower part of your back, double leg kick. So holding a hand, legs move as one, kick twice on the inhale, exhale, we stretch. We're gonna add to it, so we're gonna kick twice. Stretch, inhale, we widen the legs, and then exhale, we join the legs. So adding the pause, feeling the glutes working. So stretch it out, inhale, widen the legs, keep the arms straight, even if you have to let go, legs together. Kick twice, elbows bent, stretch it out. Working on coordination as well, widen the legs, legs join together, kick twice. Stretch the legs out, legs widen, and then legs together. Kick twice, stretch it out, squeeze those shoulder blades, open and close. Two more, kick, kick. Stretch it out, open and close. Last one, kick twice. Stretch it out, open and close. Lower the chest down. Roll over onto your left side. So we're starting on the opposite side. We normally start on our right. So on your left side, rest your left ear on your bicep. Your left arm is extended, lift the two legs up a couple of centimeters. Reach away with that right arm, slip the right fingernails to the left side of the waist. Starting off with a click of the heels, open and close as fast as you can, open, close. Breathe in, breathe out. So keep that waist tight, as if someone's tightened a corset around your waist. You're breathing deeply into the rib cage. So send that breath to the upper body. Relax through the right shoulder, keep the click going. One last breath and then lower it down. Slide your left leg forward, float the right leg up, press the outer edge of your left foot into the floor, kick it forward, breathe in, point, exhale, pulse back twice. So side kick a little different with the upper body and you may feel that it's harder to keep that upper body strong. Use that right hand on the floor to help you. Keep the shoulders back and down. If you need to adjust the left arm, you can bend the knee or bend the elbow even. Make a pillow for yourself. Breathe in, point. Breathe out, kick it back. Feel it in the glutes, in the hamstrings. Feel the core kick in to stop the upper body from swaying. Kick and then pulse back. Last three here. 
two more point kick back last one point and kick back bend the knees feet behind feet together right hand helps you up onto your right forearm your right elbow now elbows in line with the shoulder lift from the side of the waist reach away with the right arm lift those hips up want to make it harder you extend through that right leg inhale open exhale twist now my hips are not moving yours shouldn't be either the hip bones stay in line and it'll be easier to, to notice if you're moving if that right leg is moving inhale open exhale we twist breathe in open everything up and exhale twist last three breathe in breathe out twist two more inhale open and exhale twist last time breathe in and breathe out twist lower the hips lower the leg and extend again on the left side two legs float up off the floor reach that right arm over as well so inhale here exhale we crunch twice and then we stretch it out so getting deep into those oblique muscles we extend breathe out bring it up inhale find length breathe out bring it up and inhale find length exhale get deep into the obliques deep into the hips and then stretch it out breathe out bring it up and then stretch it out last two here pulse twice and then one last time breathe out and find length flip over onto your belly single leg kick so elbows in line with your shoulders knees in line with your or sorry elbows in line with your shoulders forearms out in front middle fingers facing forward push into the hands so you can have your legs hip width apart or maybe a little wider if that's more comfortable for you lift through the chest send the heart or the breastbone in between those upper arms pull back with the elbows kick twice with the right heel and then stretch it out twice with the left heel and stretch so single leg kick notice if you are allowing your head to dip down it's that turtle kind of neck feel we're going to change it up a little bit after this set so right double kick left double kick now flick the palms press into the outer edge of the, the little fingers and this is going to help connect those shoulder blades look slightly ahead of the fingertips kick kick and release that natural um, extension of the spine here and then pressing the hips into the floor as you do or as you move last set and left and release okay hands in underneath the shoulders push yourself all the way up straight over onto your right side and lengthen so we're lowering down onto a straight right arm two legs lift them up everything stacked left hand reach it behind slip it to the right side of the waist and click those heels as fast as you can engage through the core here so making sure that you're not swaying from side to side there's no pressure or tension in the neck and your face is soft engaging through the tummy muscles zipping up if you find it's easy add little bits drop through that left shoulder a little bit more allow your right hand or right arm to be heavier last three two and one send that right leg forward press the outer edge of the right foot into the floor point through those left toes <clears throat> kick it forward and pulse back twice so pointing through the left toes and then pushing back with the heel breathe in we point and breathe out we kick it back inhale point kick forward exhale pulse back twice breathe in point kick forward exhale pulse it back feel it in the glutes so your bum muscles your hamstrings and then notice maybe even close your eyes if you can feel it in your obliques side tummy muscles notice if that upper body is moving breathe in we kick breathe out we kick back twice last three here send the leg even further forward challenging yourself every time and one last time kick 
push back twice bend those knees feet behind the body push yourself up onto your forearm the right elbows in line with the right shoulder forearms out in front use the hand we reach away with the left arm lift through the hips if you want to make it harder extend through that left leg breathe in reach back exhale twist tuck under look under breathe in we open it up and exhale we twist so lower part of your body is steady exhale twist breathe in open and exhale twist <sighs> inhale open everything out exhale twist tuck under look under three to go breathe in and exhale twist two more breathe in and exhale twist last one inhale open and exhale twist lower everything reach out long with the right arm left arm comes to join two legs up inhale here exhale pulse twice breathe in find length and exhale bring it up breathe in stretch exhale pulse one two breathe in stretch and exhale pulse one two so if you can't balance you have the option lower the right leg to the floor bend the knee come up strong and then find length imagine you're moving through water as you lengthen that body out kick twice or pulse twice and lengthen two more one two stretch it out last one and release over onto your back so finding um lengthen the spine here neck is long arms resting down by your side draw the knees into the chest a gentle rock very very small maybe start to draw a semicircle with the knees on the back wall so knees towards your right shoulder move them further away down or up towards your left shoulder so the tummy muscles working a little bit here as we slow everything down And then feet find the mass, allow your legs fall into whatever shape feels nice. And then stretch the arms up towards the ceiling, start to circle the wrists, moving through the fingers, the thumbs, and changing direction if that feels good. And then allow those arms fall into whatever shape feels nice. Let go of your tummy muscles now, allow that breath find your belly. And now take this time, allow yourself these couple of minutes to recover and to breathe. The face soft, slowing down the brain, feeling the belly expand out, up, back as you inhale. And that just deflation feeling of letting go as you exhale. Following this movement, allow yourself to let go on every level. slowly coming back to this present moment 
wriggling through the fingers and the toes. If your legs are long, bend your knees in, feet flat on the floor, knees together, ankles together, allow the legs fall to the right the way they are. And then turn your head to the left, take a deep breath into the left side. Come back through the center on the exhale, two knees to the left and turn your head to the right and take a deep breath into the right side of the body. Slowly return to the middle and draw your knees into your chest, slipping the hands to the backs of the legs, rocking from side to side. And then finally take a deep breath in and exhale, make your way up into a seated position. Well done guys, thank you so much for joining me. I'll see you next time.